why do you agree that perfectionist or a per- perfectionism is kind of it's wrapped in there with selfishness? It's in there, of course. You, well, you know, I think in the end, or maybe for me or something like that, I'm trying to do better than I did before. Um, okay. On, okay. It, when I do stuff, I try to do better than I did before in the last one. You know, maybe it's a lateral move, but I can't do worse. Um, okay. And sometimes that'll 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 spiral into like, oh, I already did this drawing um, that nobody saw. Uh, months ago, I can't right. you know, fill in the blanks in this script with a drawing that I only know that I did months ago. Like it has to be a brand new drawing from a new mm, angle, mm. even though that angle would have worked, you know, for this particular situation. And then you kind of just sort of get in this like, uh, who who you who are you performing for? You know, are you, <laughs> am I doing this for like? Oh my I'm, god! Essentially, you wind up doing it for yourself. You know. Uh, Get it done. Get it on paper, because you know. Because also, when you or when you do perfectionism, you hold up a bunch of other people too. Yes, yes. Part of a team, you're gonna hold up a lot. Yeah. Of and it's 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 not the you show. It's it's uh. um, it's the teamwork. Oof. So that's good. You said it's not the you show. <laughs> it's not the well, you sometimes show. it's one of those things. Yeah, you know, it's that's that's, that's, that's part good. Of team. Artists, creatives, and designers. I'm your host, Electra, and welcome to Dream Aloud Art, where we have educating, inspiring, and motivating conversations with creatives from around the world. Show some love and support by subscribing, liking this video, and uplift another creative by sharing this video. Let's tune in to another amazing conversation. Let's go. Artists, creatives, and designers, welcome to Dream Aloud Art on YouTube. And we have a very special guest. Like all of our guests are special. I'm just realizing, like I always say that because all of our guests are special. But <laughs> definitely Philip is also known as End of Days on Mars. And that's his website yes. also is End of Days on Mars and all that good stuff. But Philip is unique as far as him and I are concerned because we're both in the same city. We're both in Richmond, Virginia. (laughs) So I'm gonna give his quick intro. And then of course, we're gonna hear more from Philip. So Philip is, um, he has been a freelance comic artist for over eight years. And so he's currently working in storyboarding for Lion Forge Animation. Um, And he's done character design, and background design and actual animation. So he's done just a world of things. And I'm sure more, I'm sure he's done more than what we're mentioning. <laughs> like most, <laughs> like most of us, okay. All like those who own being a creative, we do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, but yeah, so yeah, he uh, also um is into and now I'm gonna say this is sequ- sequential art, sequential sure. art. Sequential art, yeah, yeah. Sequential That's just art, a fancy word for like comics and storyboarding things. Like oh, that. okay. You tell a story with your art, yeah. So, okay, you know, that's well, the, that's everyone, the on paper. <laughs> please welcome Philip Johnson. It's a pleasure having you. It's good to be here. This is great. Yes. Yeah, loving okay, it. Okay, y'all. So just, <laughs> just a quick heads up, y'all. Um, I interviewed Philip years ago, uh, years at least being over one year ago. And we just don't know where that is as far as the scale, as far as the time is concerned. But it has definitely been a little while. Um, And uh, that was on Instagram. And that's when I was um, focusing on Instagram um, interviews. So, Mm Philip, welcome. Tell us a little (laughs) a, a little bit about yourself besides some of the information we just heard. Okay. Like yeah. If you, just, um, if you just met a complete stranger. How would you introduce yourself? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, you all, uh, most of it, you, you told, you, uh, we've got in the, uh, the, the little uh, information, copy, I guess is what they call it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm 34 years old currently. Um, okay. I'm living in. <laughs> Y'all we're getting, the, we're getting you like, know? we're Okay, we're so giving we, the bio here. He's, yes, I, he is giving I don't know what his, my blood type is. This is his profile. <laughs> now he's giving you his profile. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a little what? information. So wait a minute. Stop. Hold on. I'm calling it right what? now, Philip. Boom. <laughs> so if you met a complete stranger, you would tell them, hey, I'm Philip. I'm 34 years old. <laughs> Okay, if I met like an artist or something like that, I would be like, I think like it's important to know the age of people. Like, because sometimes, you know, like 
you never know like how long someone's journey takes. So like, hey, listen, I'm 34 years old and okay. this is where I'm at right now, you know? Okay, respect. Yeah. I got you. Because sometimes you'll meet somebody who's like a professional or something like that. And it's just like, yeah, man, I can't believe I'm turning 25 next year. And it's just like, <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's nuts. <laughs> or like, I'm working with a guy now um, and he is, he's 57 years old. And okay. um, he does capoeira and stuff like that. He ran circles around us doing capoeira. I couldn't keep up with it. So like everybody is <laughs> like on their different like you know journey. You know it's important to know where people absolutely, are at. absolutely. <laughs> okay, you are right about that. So everyone, in a nutshell, yeah. Philip is a 34 year old uh, young man who lives in Richmond and has young had like eight that. years of freelance um, comic art uh skills yeah. under his belt so that's his <laughs> interview over there we're go. done we're there done, done. Yes. we did it that's Got good we covered it we all need to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay so give us a quick uh -huh. rundown for what your journey has looked like growing okay. up yeah, sure. hold on uh, oh, wait there's, oh, 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 there's more there's more the to beginning. the question <laughs> <laughs> okay. So ready, I'm ready. Yes, I, I know you are wired up, which I is got great. My coffee so, here, so, yeah. <laughs> so, what has your journey looked like as far as your upbringing is concerned? Um, this is, I'll give a range. This is maybe, you know, before 10 years old. Did you know you were into what you're into currently? You know, did you identify yourself as? embracing being creative or being expressive like what did that look like for you as a young child okay um I think I guess my earliest memories of like you know finding out what I wanted to do and stuff like that um comes from like my mom she used to mm. uh draw stick figures on a um, hey. well she used to be an artist too but I would always ask okay. her to draw like stick figures for me and stuff like that so you know, I'd be like, oh, draw this for me. Can you draw some stick figures? And she'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, snap. Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> and so then, like, you know, in kindergarten, um, you know, one day I was just like, you know, doodling around. And then like, oh, it kind of dawned upon me like, oh, I could do that myself. Like, I can make my own drawings. Mm -hmm. And so it's been sort of like, you know, it's been love ever since then. Yeah. Um, and they also used to ask me a lot when I was a kid, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, you know, I guess... You know, you should ask your kid, like, what they want to be when sure. they grow up. And I kind of settled on, like, cartoonist, because I didn't know what the word was at the time. So yeah. it's been my sort of, like, life path, you know, uh, ever since then. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was always that kid in school who could draw. Oh, man, Philip could draw. Um, watched a lot of cartoons. I watched all the Fox Kids blocks. Um, you know, Dragon Ball Z. They used to come mm. on, like, 6 a.m. or something like that. Oh, Sailor my gosh. Moon. Good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, just cartoons have always been my thing. I've always been the guy who's been like, you know, if you want to know stuff about cartoons, oh, you talk to Philip, like he knows like Dragon Ball Z. So, or people can like come to me and talk to me about like Beast Wars and stuff like that when like they okay. have friends who would talk about that kind of stuff. So right. I've always kind of just been into it. I've always kind of been drawing, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, grade school, middle school, high school, mm -hmm. uh, went to college, VCU. Um, well, the kinetic imaging there. Hold, hold on. Let me ask uh, this question much, before yeah. we get into college or any kind of, you know, education, formal education with the arts. What was going through your mind as a student in high school? And I'm, and what I'm getting to more specifically is, uh -huh. was there any kind of like, I can't wait until energy. Like, I can't wait until, like, I don't have to do this all day as a student. Like, or, mm. or let me say it differently. I can't wait until I can do fill in the blank more. And was that drawing? Like, was what? Yeah. So what was, what was the I mentality guess it would be, like? I guess that kind of would be, yeah. Like, I mean, I think in high school is when I really started, like, jotting down, like, ideas for stories. Mm. Um, I haven't ever made good on those. And those stories were terrible that I just wrote, wrote down. <laughs> But um, still, just like in the idea of like, just sort of like planning for like things that I want to do in the future. Because mm. um, what was that? What was big at the time in high school? I think um, you still have to go to Barnes and Noble to like get manga and stuff like that. So I was really into like buying manga. Mm. Um, I was into Bleach before I got into Naruto. So I was oh, really okay. into Bleach. Like, yeah, I, I thought it was so cool. Bleach is an anime. anime. For for those that don't know, Bleach is the name of an uh, anime series. Yeah. Is that the best way I can say that? 
Just anime. about, yeah, I would say. What do you yeah. call it? What uh, would you call it then? I just call it an anime. No, I mean, no, you had it right. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Anime, manga, Japanese. Uh, manga. Okay. I, I had yeah, to say that because know? someone mentioned Bleach to me before and I was like, what are you saying? Like, I, I didn't understand the context. I'm like, what are you, what's Bleach, <laughs> you know? So, okay, go ahead. I just wanted to insert that one. No, that's really funny. I never, I always think that everyone knows all this stuff already. No. So I'll, I'll try and be like a lot more like descriptive. <laughs> now you know, like, not everyone yeah. knows. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Because that's, that's my problem. I always think that everyone knows like all the art stuff. You know, we all live in our own, like basically like, in our own worlds now. with it. So like all my stuff's like art and algorithm and or like algorithm, all the uh, anime and stuff like that. So I assume yes. everybody knows what's like popping, but um, I'll try and like be more descriptive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, just liked a lot of anime and manga in high school. I was uh, lucky enough to get a group of friends who were like watching Tsunami, um, you know, every every night because I think that was when like Tsunami. Yeah, started I used to watch Tsunami. Afternoon. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we Isn't talked that, about didn't they have like Samurai Jack? Yeah, was was Samurai Jack on that too? Samurai Jack didn't make it to Tsunami oh. eventually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But it played on Cartoon Network uh, before then, too. So it played during regular Cartoon mm-hmm. Network. Uh, okay. I never watched the end of, like, regular Samurai Jack, actually. I never watched the fifth season. But it's great. Um, and we can talk about that more for, like, storyboarding, because that's a fantastic show for, like, mm-hmm. you know, communicating story without having to, like, do a lot of dialogue and cuts and stuff. Like ah. that. So, really great show. Gendy Tartakovsky. Uh, Gendy Tartakovsky. Phenomenal uh, director. Oh. Um, animation director, I should say. Well, I'm live action, maybe. Or Samurai Jack. Uh, That's who you're talking about. Or Samurai Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done like a lot of stuff. Samurai. I think okay. it was Texas Lab, too. I might be wrong. Um, oh, that was my joint. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah that's opening it up a whole lot phase. of thoughts I haven't had in a while. Yeah. Dexter's Let's go Lab back. And... Let's go back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got to um, become. <laughs> Come back to present. Okay, so here you go. No, I'm talking about let's go back in time. Let's go back to Dexter's lab and, you know, two stupid dogs and all that. I know. But But go ahead. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, um, high school. Um, Yeah, that's when I really kind of started, like, getting into more, like, anime-centric stuff. I guess that's when I kind of knew, we knew what it was. Mm. So, like, you get more into, like, Shonen Jump. Um, But I think Bleach was my major thing. Um, I didn't really get into, like, uh, One Piece, which I love, and Naruto till like after like uh, college and high school. Mm, okay. But, um, I did watch the I did watch the One Piece anime though for like four, uh, for like Fox Fox. That's when they switched over to like Fox Fox. Um, love that. Um, so your your head. So the mentality that you had when it came mm-hmm. to what you were looking forward to doing. What Mm -hmm. was that like? What were you looking forward to doing? Like, say from, remember I was saying about high school into college, like what? Yeah. What's running through your head? You were interested in all those things. You have, you know, your group of friends who are also interested in the same thing. Yeah. What were you looking forward to at that time? My thing at the time was I still wanted to do animation. I still wanted to do cartoons. Um, and that's kind of what I was working towards. I thought I could do like kind of comics in the meantime. Um, cause mm. I thought that'd be like easier than animation, but turns out it's like just as hard. Um, mm. it's all the same amount of work, no matter what you do. Um, mm. it all takes a lot of work. Um, but yeah, um, really big into animation. Um, I used to like, you know, I, uh, since like in the early days of YouTube, you know, you'd have to like get bits and pieces of like anime here and there like cuts and pieces um i'd have to buy the episodes on dvd with my favorite like shots oh yeah favorite like directors and stuff like that because you know every episode is directed by a different person Mm -hmm. so like you know you have to find a specific one that you like and then like cop that one i didn't know that every episode is directed by a different person that's what you said uh yes but also you know people come back and direct different episodes too but there's several directors on animated shows mm. so like have you ever noticed um and this is the thing that used to really get me that i used to love uh watching old pokemon um you know the style would change a little bit the style of the show would kind of like ever so slightly tweak itself like you're watching an episode of pokemon and it's kind of all right and then you'd watch one episode of pokemon the next episode and it's like that's so true animation gets like an upgrade it's that's like, so true that yeah. is so true I didn't understand. Stuff I don't, like I really, I personally don't understand that, like why that is. It's, 
it comes down to storyboarding. Uh, it comes down to the, um, uh, the style of the director, uh, which I'm learning now. Um, we'll get into that later. But uh, style of the director, storyboarding, um, whether they storyboard the episode themselves or they, um, they you know, sort of do revisions over what someone else has done. Okay. Because uh, I guess the Sailor Moon's a good example of that. Um, oh, all right. Yeah, I used to watch that it's too. Like a, Mm. It's a it's a great show. I'm like rewatching it. I'm like stuck in season four because it's a little kind of boring, but <laughs> it's it's fine. It's gonna pick up in season five. Um, okay. But you'll notice like the characters will like look one way in one episode, and then mm -hmm. there's a real specific director, and he'll like kind of soften up the characters, mm -hmm. um, and they'll look completely different. Um, and I like those episodes the best. Or, or mm, one specific, okay. I forget what his name is. I hate the fact that I forgot his name, but. Great stuff. It's, you know, mm. animation takes a lot of people. A lot of people leave their fingerprints um, in the mix. And mm -hmm. uh, if you're eagle-eyed, you can, like, pick out what you like and sort of, like, kind of, like, follow the trail. From I'm there. sure. You're talking You're talking the language of the... All right. <laughs> the story, story border? That's not even a... That's not even a word. Oh. Story border? <laughs> oh. Story, no, yeah, well, I guess storyboard I'm artist. Storyboard <laughs> yeah. artist. There you go. Okay. That works out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so what were now the transition mm -hmm. into college? What was your focus when you were in college? Still uh, animation. Okay. So uh, you stuck? It. Boy, you don't like kick that thing I, out. That's awesome. Not, I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not fumbling for meaning in this, in this world here. I like to draw. Yes. Uh, I want to make like cool stuff. I, I kind of solidified my life path in like kindergarten, which is probably a little dangerous, but uh, I, you know, really kind of <laughs> stuck with it, I guess, you know, I feel so, like, well, you know, I, I got lucky. Yeah. And before we dive or, you know, continue further yeah. having to do with your, you know, the experience in college and what that looked like for you. You mm -hmm. just mentioned about, um, what did you just say about kind of like you you locked in your uh, purpose yeah. as a kindergartner? You said you used different verbiage. Uh, like Which is kind of dangerous. Meaning, I, guess, I guess. You what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You said, like, uh, you said I wasn't fumbling for meaning. Or something yeah, like that, you know, yeah was, but you kind of locked it in when you were a kid. But what yeah. what I find and what, you know, Psychologists have found, therapists yeah. understand, we all generally understand that there's something that's, a, there's a seed that's planted at a young age. So we can go around the world if we like to, and we can explore all kinds of things, but there are certain, certain core things that we keep going back to, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. You know, that's, I, you know, I wouldn't say, I would say that's good that you identified certain, certain things that you just know you have not only a knack for, but an interest in. And if you have an interest in it, um, developing your skills, so you become better at it, you know? And so I think that's, yeah. I just wanted to say that is commendable. You know, I don't necessarily think that's like, like a, a red <laughs> flag, you know, <laughs> if, a, if a child identifies something that they really love. It may look, sure. it may look a certain way because maybe that's not always nurtured. Maybe that's not always, you know, people are like, well, maybe you should try this. Now I've experienced that where it's like, Hey, maybe yeah. try this. Hey, maybe try that. And then it's, uh, it's almost like I'll use something very simple. It's like sure, eating, yeah. some, eating something that, you know, you absolutely love like this, this fruit or this vegetable or this, whatever it's like, Oh, I yes. love this. This is so good. And then people trying to uh, encourage you Try to this. explore, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't mean there's something wrong with the other dishes, but you and I and most of our listeners all know that there are certain things we'll go back to, whether it's food, whether it's, you know, our sleeping habits, whether it's our eating habits, it doesn't like, or, and especially art as a creative, there Absolutely. are certain things we, that just, that just fit better than others. Even yeah. if we're actually really good at other things, this is something I teach artists. You like, like you may be like mm. super good, but it, it may not feel as fulfilling. Yeah, absolutely. Or like, you know, um, I'll even, I'll even touch on that too. Cause like, yes, I, talked about, I wanted it. to be a cartoonist. I wanted to be a cartoonist. Right. And then I've always wanted to do art and be creative and make, you know, stories for people to follow. 
but like you know the medium has shifted you know mm. every now and again like mm. i was really into comics before i just got this job which was like a couple months back but mm. you know, this job is what i you know was like the goal from like all those years ago but i pivoted yeah. towards comics for like for like a while for like mm. a, for most of my like you know uh, professional career I was doing like, you know, comics here and there and maybe a little bit of animation for like music videos, but like um, the goal is the same. Wow. The 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 medium changed. A yes. Times. Yes. So, yeah. yeah, you know, as, as long as you keep the straight path. And I right. guess like my thing was like, you know, oh, maybe it's bad to like, you know, lock in what you want to do in kindergarten. Cause like, what if I was like terrible at it the whole time, objectively terrible at it the whole time? Yes. You know? It's nice to have as the fallback, but sometimes it's a little dangerous because some people might just like beeline towards something and just forsake everything else around them. You know, Very true. that tunnel vision, I guess. That's true. But it is, I, I will say that I, I think it's very important for, for everyone to be, to nurture that creativity. Like, as mm-hmm. a kid. cause you're always going to need something to like, you know, even if you want to be an artist as a kid and you, wind up being a doctor or something like that you know it'd be great to like still have art on the on the sidelines still have absolutely art to be- and this is yeah. you know i think that just we, we we're i mean we're still on track because you know we're still, we're, okay. we're we're still, still on track <laughs> but this is this is we're touching on some really good points here because yeah. it's important like i know there are plenty of people who identify themselves as an artist, as a creative, as a designer in whatever capacity that is. And they are swearing up and down that if they're not an entrepreneur, that, Mm. that, you know, shame on me because I should be doing this full time. And they, they beat themselves up because they're working a job and they're doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's a, a certain I used to be in that headspace at times. I really was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing here? But the best thing that I continued to do was to at least appreciate that I got the job and I'm yeah. able to take care of myself <laughs> and, Absolutely, still, yeah. and still work on that passion because there's a certain fulfillment that that provides. That's not like to be Absolutely. like, what are you doing? You're not a real artist because you're not full time. You know, like it's yeah. like, chill. It's, no, a, it's all good. Yeah. Matter of fact, the more the merrier. So if I'm able to have multiple income, then let me do that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, and I'll even like, I'll even point this out. uh, Working as a professional artist gives you even less time to work on the stuff you really want to work on. I've talked to like Mm. several people who I'm working with about that. Um, And once art is like your like full-time job, then, you know, money making comes first. Eating comes first, Um, you know. Travel money to see family comes see, comes first. Yeah. So you'll be putting that like you'll be putting that passion po- passion project on the back burner for like probably a couple more years than you realize. <laughs> um, so like if you're working a nine to five, if you're working at McDonald's, if you're working like um, as a cop or something like no that, I don't, I'm just throwing names out there. Shame if you come back. Yes. Here, you time to do what you want to do. I'm telling that's, you, that's freedom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's a certain there, was, um, there is a certain freedom to it, a certain a certain freedom, you know. And again, if you want to do the full time entrepreneurial thing, I support that wholeheartedly. If that's what you want to do, like as of long course, as you yeah, know, hustle. as long as you know, as long as you're the one that knows you're choosing that, not not out of like pressure or or I better do that because you know yeah, people won't think yeah, absolutely. you could be a serious artist and keep your job. Like ain't nobody like. <laughs> more power to them i know people who do great stuff and they work like other jobs what was it um astro boy was written by astro boy was written by a dentist like the guy was like uh, this is okay what is up okay (laughs) all right let me let me calm down because my at the at my dentist office the gentleman Uh who is over several dental facilities he paints Mm -hmm. And his paintings are at every facility. You know what I'm there saying? You like, go. There what? You go. So what are we That's, saying here? Like, I yeah, exactly. So as long as you keep that spirit, as long as you keep that creativity alive, that's the main thing. That's awesome. And plus, now he's like, he owns his own facility, so he can. It's mo money. Can Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> exactly. He gets all the he gets all the supplies and free like publicity he wants. I'm Good telling you, like he has literally <laughs> set up his own galleries. And you know, let me add this too before we continue uh-huh. on your your college journey too. 
Let me say this. When I was at the, how do I know this? How do I know this? How do I know this about (laughs) the the dentist? I went went there for an appointment. And while Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there, you know, having the art eye, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at these beautiful paintings and I'm like, and of course, all, all these people that are in there, they're on their phones. They're like, they're not even yeah, worried they about me. Like, they don't know. So I decided to lean into it. So I stood up and I walked up to the paintings and I'm examining okay. them. Like I'm in a gallery. Like I'm, you, yeah. I'm, no one's I'm looking and all at that. it from the left. I'm looking at it from the right. Like, I'm like, Dang, this is <laughs> like, is this like an original? Like, I'm, yeah, like, like, this like, is oh, not this like, is- like, like, like. TJ Maxx art, you know, like store <laughs> by like art. Home brewed, like yeah. yeah I'm like, this is what. And so I asked, I asked. I went yeah. to the counter and I asked them, like, you know, what are like I noticed they had the same signature. I said, like, where do these paintings okay. are like, where do they come from? And that's how I found out. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, lean into it, you know, just to co-sign what Philip's saying, y'all. Um, to my podcast listeners, I'm gonna pull up his Instagram profile so you can see some of his work. And so make sure you check out the the YouTube video. Um, but yeah, to all my mm-hmm. listeners, y'all, just hear hear that. That was, you know, just a really big burst of energy from both Philip and I. Like you yeah. cannot like let me rewind and just say this. Let's, where yep. you're at is where you need to be so, uh, you, yeah. so embrace embrace it embrace that embrace mm-hmm. that whatever it looks sure. like 100 percent. yeah because i mean like listen like like we were saying like like you get more time to do what you want well if you have the energy i mean you know let's not sure. like you know not sure. your friends, like, be tough and all that other stuff but you know should the option be there should you get a burst of energy or time to yourself you get to do you get to do art like on your terms. And yeah. That's like, that's invaluable. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I love it. All right. I'm yeah. jotting down. Hold on. What did I just say? You okay. Know, huh? I'm you jotting down words for the word game. And I usually pull words from our conversation to use for the word game. All right. Smart. So, okay. So, so let's talk about, and I'm not that I am hoping you had that many challenges, but most of the mm-hmm. time we just do as human beings, whether oh, that's course, a challenge yeah. from the external people around us, the internet, yeah. our own thoughts, our own judgment, man versus self, man, in versus, general. <laughs> man versus self, man versus whatever the <laughs> other things are. Um, I, you know, so what did some of, what were some of the challenges if there were any that mm-hmm. stand out right now, as far as you starting to really now I'm saying become mm-hmm. really serious because there's something about the college level where, where sure. it's like this, this energy of like, it's about to happen. I'm about to actually uh, thrive after this. I'm going to yeah. dive into the, you know, <laughs> into my career, you know, that's that, so that kind of yeah. energy, of course, depending on where people are at, some people have been working for 20 years and then go back to college, but I'll just say, yeah. you yeah. know, transitioning immediately from or graduating from high school into college. And what mm-hmm. were some of those kind of challenges that you had for starting to hone in on wanting to be, um, an artist of your capacity. I'm not going to go down, you know, the whole. For sure. Like, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, an artist of your capacity. Yeah. Um, what were some of those challenges? I'd say, um, I mean, just figuring out, like narrowing down, I guess, what I actually wanted to do. Um, because like, you know, first you got to find the college. Um, if you're going to college, you're gonna, if you're going to go that route, you got to find mm-hmm. the college that has your like major in it. Mm-hmm. Um, we went to like Howard. We went to like, um, uh, mm-hmm. some other colleges around town, but there was no, not a lot of people invest in the arts and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. um, uh, VCU was kind of perfect. They had an animation program um, and it kind of just went from there. Um, you know, it did the art VCU foundation. Is big. Like, VCU is big. It's got a lot. Yeah, it's a huge campus. Um, and it was nice because they had like an animation, but it was, oh, it kind of really? stuff, though, because like, animation was like melded into the video department too so instead mm-hmm. of really like focusing in on strictly animation and the process the pipeline that um you know professionals go through it was mixed in with um it was mixed in with video work so it was mm. more on the sort of like creative side rather than the um uh i'd say like the technical side you know? okay so it's more focused on like you know the work you produce rather than mm-hmm. how to produce that work. And I don't know if it's like changed in recent years. I don't know if mm-hmm. they've gotten some like 
industry vets or things of that nature. Um, but yeah, it was, I guess it was project focused and not so much on how to create the project. Cause like looking on how things are done now, I'm kind of like, wow, like, yeah, this is pretty different. I would go, when I did animation in college, I would animate on like ones. So like every new drawing would be a new like pose. And oh, a okay. much easier way of doing animation would be like, you know, keyframing. Am I calling so, you, are you, are you, so are you, you're, is it, is there a, <laughs> is there like a blanket <laughs> style, like calling you an animator? Is that like the, the, the cover for everything that falls on, like you do everything under animator? <sighs> I think it's kind of hard to say. Cause like, uh, cause okay, I don't no. really do the animation. I do some okay. animated okay. elements to my storyboards. Right. The storyboarding uh, I, though, the sto- story storyboarding. Storyboarding. Yeah. That's what you do at Lion Forge. My current job is storyboard artist. Yeah, that's my current job. So storyboard artist. With Lion so we'll, Forge. With Lion Forge, yes. Okay, so I'm going to, oh. yeah, storyboarding. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, storyboard artist. But yeah, okay. <laughs> that's my current, like, that's the current hat that I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, um, and I mean, you know, aside from those things, like, you know, like uh, the process of making animation, stuff like that, um, it's mm-hmm. pretty different in the uh, industry. Um, as opposed to like, you know, how some projects are done in, um, in school. Uh, thankfully we have like YouTube now. I've been able to like, I've, I've still like, you know, past college, I've learned a lot, you know, still going towards mm-hmm. um, you know, my career from YouTube. So there's a lot of people who share their experiences on YouTube. So that's great that you're doing this here as well. Yeah. Um, Thanks. But yeah, I'm, aside from that, uh, Time management, that's always kind of been my thing. So, that's my kryptonite. Oof, man. So most okay. of your challenges have just been your own personal challenges. You haven't really no. had it from externally, like anyone telling you like, oh, Philip, are you sure you want to do that? Like you, you, you have, you've been... And I'm not saying you got to think of someone, but usually <laughs> when I, when I, I say joking. challenges... A big, a big one, of course, is our own inner dialogue that's challenging yeah. us. Um, and you know, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I had my mom, you know, stuff like that. She, you know, didn't really know how to make a career in animation. So mm-hmm. you know, I don't think a lot of like I, I say like a lot of like black people in general mm. don't really see how a career in the arts technically will provide you money because you want absolutely to really be set up. Absolutely. So I got like the most minimal, I want to say the most minimal pushback on that. Oh, Philip, you know, don't forget to take a business class, you know, like, <laughs> like, you, know you know, something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that is minimal. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, the most minimal, the most minimal. Most of the people since I've been drawing so long have been like really kind and encouraging to me. Right. Like this, a lot that's of people have seen that. I love that. Thing that I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm so so lucky to have the people I have in my life. Yeah, that's a um, huge for, blessing. Yeah. So, I mean, if anything, like the most uh, the most challenges I faced, you know, aside from a few external ones here and there, you know, uh-huh. money, blah, 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 time. Blah, it's just been myself, you know. Right. Am I doing this right? Oh, I'm taking too long to do this. Mm. Oh, um, I'll overpromise myself to too many different projects mm. and I'll you know, scramble together. And now it's, yeah, now it's crunch time for those projects. Got it. You want to do the best you can, but you got to make shortcuts, which will, um, which isn't terrible. Limitation breeds creativity. Uh, There have been a couple of times where I've been down to the wire and I found creative solutions. Hold on. I need to, hold on. Unacceptable (laughs) that we we can't move on until I figure what, what, okay. You said limitation breeds creativity. Oh yeah, that's that's who a said, that's a fun one. Who said that? Oh, um, okay, so wait, explain, yeah. explain. I guess like I don't know where I heard it from. I, I hate the fact that I don't know where. If you Google it, somebody will they'll have a Wikipedia article on it or something like that. So it's tell somewhere. us. But, so tell us what that means to you. Tell us sure. what that means to you. Yeah. Um. Uh. Limitation breeds creativity, as in. Uh, the less you have to work with, whether that be maybe time, maybe materials, maybe uh, just eh, I, I, let's let's go with that time and materials. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'm sure there's other ways, but like you'll find a solution to get something done. And sometimes mm-hmm. you can find a really creative solution to get something done. 
Um, I'll even, I'll hit you with the. <laughs> that's fire. I was not, that's, that is good. That Go is, ahead. That's, Go ahead. That's a, that's a philosophy I live my life by. Um, Cause you know, you watch like, I don't know. I'm getting back to old cartoons. I love cartoons uh, and animation and stuff like that. Um, right. You'll see that like in a lot of these shows, um, sometimes they'll uh, cut, well, cut corners. Um, when two characters are talking, it's a big dialogue scene. They'll cut to a background shot of mm -hmm. like um, of a building or something like mm -hmm. that. Like, yeah, someone's talking about like, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. What if like I can't be the chosen one in time? Um, and you cut to a flower, and then the petal falls off or something like that. Yeah, creative. You you show you find creative solutions to work around problems. That's good. Um, yeah. Oh, well, see, I, I thought you were, and I'm, I thank you for sharing that because when you said that, mm -hmm. I was thinking of procrastination, that kind of energy as though like, oh, I don't have enough time. Now I have to come up with something, but that's, and that's a different kind it's of a energy. Bit of it too. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's, a, that's a different kind of energy that we carry, which is slightly a bit stressful. <laughs> But I see what you're, I see what you're talking about because it's becoming resourceful. So you're able, yeah, yeah it's like, this is all you there have you to work with. Here's 20 bucks. We're going to stretch the 20 and see how long yeah. that's going to take, see how far and that see what you can do you with it. <laughs> if you have the desire to, to live, if you have the desire to survive, you have the desire to do whatever it is, here's the $20 and run with that. That's good. Oh, that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. good. And, yeah, and I can tell you several procrastination stories where that worked out too, but yes. Well, no, we're uh, not going to talk about that because we're, we are not going to promote anything that we're not going to promote that, like no. the, uh, any kind of, pressure, you know, fit that Absolutely. dominoes on the physical body. We're not going to do that. That's, that's a lot of it's not fun. It's, it's a, it's a consequence of actions. Not a, not a, not a play, not a, um, you know, not a, not a game mode time. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Bad. <laughs> It's, right. it's not something I'm proud of. So when I say when, mm. when we talk about um things that have like held me back, procrastination mm. has held me back. Mm. I've, I've had to come up with solutions, but like your boy is the one who's at fault here. Yeah, know? yeah, and it's like yeah, yeah. That's a that's a completely yeah. That's a different ball game. But let me let me <laughs> um kind of um that that quote about the you know um, limitation breeds creativity. That also yeah. made me think of something that tends to happen with me. And okay. it, uh, and I'm wondering if you experienced that and what your feedback yeah. is on what I'm about to share. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'll make a decision for something like, okay, I'm going to take care of one and two. Yeah. And it's after a commitment has been made that mm -hmm. a certain wiring starts to happen where it's like, solution like solutions to do one and two will come so yeah. saying it differently i if i wait until a solution comes to me before i make the decision it seems like it won't happen i'll have to make the decision yeah. and then the solution starts to come into play does that yeah there you go does that even make sense? Oh, I, wait, no, I mean no i no i get it you know like you know sort of like um I guess it's kind of the idea of like putting a deadline on something. I mean, that's the broadest sense I can think of making that. Sure, life. sure. A, 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 like well, a deadline, deadline is making a decision that something needs to be finished. So a decision has been made yeah. to say it needs to be finished by this time. And then yeah. all of a sudden, <laughs> solutions start yeah, to come. Gotta, yeah, solutions start coming. You got to start like thinking. Yeah, so yeah. Like, ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. deadline. That is, that's a simple example, but it's the same, the same kind of thing. Same happens, principle, right? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so let me let me bounce back to the challenge. And thank you for your feedback. I was just wondering about sure. that. Uh, yeah. So let's bounce back to the challenges. So you, most of your challenges have just been your own inner dialogue and just kind of managing uh, your time, your resources, your in, the information you need or making certain commitments and then trying to like balance all of that. Um, yeah. So for have you, and this is general because of course I want you to narrow it down. Mm-hmm. What or what has been, say, the the greatest trial that you've had to to go through as an artist? Mm -hmm. Hmm. The greatest trial. Yeah. Um, I'd say a lot of them were sort of like, I guess, um, sort of just money based. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I've got this project. Um, here's the budget for it. 
and you want to do like maybe like the best work possible um and sometimes even get in your own head get a little perfectionist mm. about it um mm. i'll take like forever to make sure these these rough sketches are perfect you know even though i'm gonna be covering them up um later on um uh, that'll spiral into like more time needed um and then the money doesn't uh. match up for like i'll i'll take my budget and mm. and and sort of like double the time needed to complete that budget. But then like, you know, where's the money come from? You got to work for free, Philip, because you, yeah. you didn't plan accordingly mm. or you didn't, you didn't let something go when you need to let something go. Right. So I'd say most of the time, like some of the hardest challenges I've had are just like um, working on something that I'm really excited for and then just completely screwing up the timeline because like mm. I'm so... I want this to look like this. I want this character to like lean on this like, yeah. thing in particular. And I want them to look like they're really hurt and they want to cry. But like, you know, the story just says like, oh, she tired and she slumps down. But I'm like, oh, like, what if she was like burnt out and yes. she's like, crying? And she... So I'll add extra things to things um, and I'll, right. you know, miss up a timeline. So yeah, a lot of stuff like that. I've yeah. had to to basically um rely on the kindness of strangers a couple times to just like uh family members because i just completely screwed up a deadline and i had to like couldn't do anything else but this work for like a month mm, so it's like, okay mm. like, you really gotta stretch out those like chicken breasts you really gotta like make that salad like last a yes. little bit longer because, absolutely like, yeah i did it to myself so like you know right uh, yeah that's that's mm. about that yeah yeah yeah, for wow. sure. I feel like, you know, and of course that's, you're explaining a particular situation, but there's mm-hmm. the, you know, I'm, I'm reference, I'm going to reference what you were saying about the perfectionist, you know, that perfectionist. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. <laughs> now we may be diving very deep with, with that because that, that in itself yeah. is a challenge and when it comes to the idea of being a perfectionist i feel like Mm -hmm. one of the uh, a great practice to relax this idea Mm -hmm. of being a perfectionist is Mm -hmm. to show your work matter of fact show some of your like kind of good work work that you think Uh is kind of good show it to Uh someone who has no idea about that world show Mm. it to them and they will be mind blown. It, it's, it, you know, they're going to be in awe. Uh, show <laughs> yeah, it to someone yeah. who works a corporate job all day and night. Show it to them. And then they're like, whoa. So it, what it does. That's what, great. Yeah. What it do, and what it does too to us when we, when uh-huh. we experience that, when we try that out, it reminds mm-hmm. us that everyone else, everybody just has their own point of view. And so we're yeah. just two in our own head about, about what that's going to look like to I'm not sure, you know, I mean, to whomever, even if, even if someone is going to review your work and we may be so like, oh my gosh, like, I want to make sure it looks one, two, and three. And it's like, you know, it's, it's actually good where it's at, you know, it it just depends on what we're doing, but that's always a way to relax, you know, um, where you're at with a project. And, you know, um, I I mean, I'll add on to that too. Um, Sometimes like, you know, I, I kind of think about the end product a lot of the time. And mm. how, like, you know, you spend so much time getting something perfect. Um, uh, I'll put in, like, two hours into this drawing of this, like, background and this one panel. <laughs> right, right. And, like, in the end, um, you know, with comics or with animation, someone's just going to watch it for, like, 20 minutes and then, we, you know, move on to the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that, yeah, like, yeah. Because the, the viewers, like, are not all of the viewers or the majority of the study. viewers. What's that? Yeah. They're not going to study your work. They're not, right? they're not, they're not looking they're at it. With a, comb. Yeah, I was going to look. I was doing this because I was going to say a magnifying <laughs> glass. They're not looking at it like that. And I used to deal with yeah. that as an instructor. So as an instructor, I was like, okay, these are the things I'm going to go over in class and all of this. And I had yeah. uh, a senior instructor. She told me if I forget to cover something or if I don't do an exercise or practice, she said, just remember that the students 
don't know my notes. Like <laughs> the students yeah, have no yeah. clue. <laughs> they have no clue that I forgot something. They don't like that doesn't even matter to them. And when she said that, I was like, that's Absolutely. so good. That's, yeah, yeah, there you go, right? You know, it's a know. blessing and a curse, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They don't know all of that. We just be up here. So, but yeah, that is, that is a huge, um, or it can be a huge challenge or hindrance. Um, I feel yeah. like it's, it's wonderful to be detail oriented and like notice different yeah. things and say, okay, we need Absolutely. to move this, but it's the energy behind, behind that thought, you know? So, it, so if, we're yeah. gonna, if, if you know that that perfectionist feels more of like, stress you know where it's like oh man mm -hmm. like I gotta mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I, how I can put that into words but it would feel more like stress as opposed to detail oriented like okay let, let's just fix the picture frame to look like that okay we're good we're fine um yeah yeah I okay think, I think it comes with experience where you'll you'll eventually you'll learn when to let things go mm -hmm. like that's learning when to let things go is is pretty important because it's like <laughs> Oh, that's you know? <laughs> yes, yes. So when like do you said, let things go, Philip? Like when would that be <laughs> for everyone? Not not that that not that your answer has to answer it for everyone, but I'm just saying, what does that generally mean for knowing when to let certain things go? For sure. I think the main thing is you have to communicate the idea mm -hmm. of what you want. If the idea is communicated, Anything you do after that is, you know, um, sprinkles on the cake or something like that. And um, uh, like we were saying, like, you know, you know everything that goes into it. But like, you know, in the mm. end, the thing that you give out to people, they don't, they might not care. Some of them might uh, and some of them won't. It's, you kind of have to like, I, it, it seems kind of like mean to say, but you kind of have to divorce yourself from like the final product in a way mm, and like mm, let it breathe yeah just let it yeah like, yeah just, it let, it, what just it let it go man like i <sighs> did it and it's done um it was made it was made and the fact that it got made is is super awesome absolutely um, i could go back on my projects and be like you know oh i wish i did this different i wish everybody's gonna think, everybody's gonna have that but mm. like in the end um what you made is what matters the most you know? absolutely that's right. Yes. Okay. Hold on yeah, now. Hold you know? on. Let me, let me get, <laughs> let me, let's, let's touch on this. Is perfectionism rooted a bit in selfishness? Absolutely. I was going to say ego. So like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Like that's, that's Wait, a, it's, it's so you tell. So tell me, tell me your, your thoughts on that, though, as far as why you agree with that. Why do you agree that perfectionist, or a per perfectionism is kind of, it's wrapped in there with selfishness? It's in there. Of course, you, well, you know, I think in the end, or maybe from me or something like that, I'm trying to do better than I did before. Um, okay. On, okay. When I do stuff, I try to do better than I did before in the last one. You know, maybe it's a lateral move, but I can't do worse um okay and sometimes that'll 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 spiral into like oh i already did this drawing um that nobody saw uh months ago i can't right. you know, fill in the blanks in this script with a drawing that i only know that i did months ago like it has to be a brand new drawing from a new mm, angle mm. even though that angle would have worked you know for this particular situation and then you kind of just sort of get this like uh who who are you who are you performing for? You know, are you, am I doing this for like? <laughs> oh my god! I'm, essentially, you wind up doing it for yourself. You know, uh, get it done, get it on paper, because you know, because also when you or when you do perfectionism, you hold up a bunch of other people too. Yes, yes. Part of a team, you're gonna hold up a lot. Yeah. Of people, and it's 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 not the you show. It's it's uh. um, it's the teamwork. Oof. So that's good. You said it's not the you show. <laughs> it's not well, sometimes it's one of those things yeah you know it's that's that's, that's, that's good part of no that's good that's why i'm laughing it's, i mean it's good that's so good and i want to i want to branch off of that idea too because sometimes mm -hmm. even the example i used about instructing and how you know i'm like oh i have to make sure i have these 10 notes but the students don't care like they don't even know what the 10 notes are if i miss something there's yeah. also this idea what i've actually what i've shared with artists too that mm -hmm. 
we literally think that everybody's eyes is watching everything we do. And that's yeah. the part that I'm talking about is that selfishness where you're like, oh, they must be, I, I'm sure that everyone is paying attention and everyone is they have to know, with right? a magnifying glass. It's like, no, they're not. Like you're legit, not that, not a high priority in everyone's mind. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, it's, 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 it's a separation. I, impossible for for all of us to prioritize every single person that we know in our head. Like that just doesn't even absolutely healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are you are one hundred percent correct. You know, it's it's kind of one of those things where, like, you know, I guess uh, just based on our own experiences in life, I can only experience life from my perspective, right? And so, like, right. Um, so no matter what I do, I'm always the center of everything that happens in the world. Mm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you got to have that like sort of like you got to like let that go. You have that empathy to go out there and like be like, OK, like, yes, let me not let me not focus in on this because, you know, me being super perfectionist about this thing, um, mm -hmm. like I said, it's going to hold other people up. That's right. Um, most people aren't even really going to notice it. They're not just, um, it's just a for you thing, you know. They're just not. <laughs> you said it's not the. It's not the you show. That's actually. Let me let me add on um, to that. When you said it's not yeah. the you show, that's what I used to love when I first found out about YouTube. I thought it was such a funny uh -huh. name. It was like YouTube, <laughs> go figure. Um, like, so. yeah, right, yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> I understand that. Okay, <laughs> but. I mean, um, I Pop the bubble in my head. Yeah. yeah. Kind of <laughs> Something that you had mentioned earlier, as far as like when you, because you're, you're 34, we all learned that very sure. early yep, in yep. your We're interview, there. but, proud of it, you know? the, yeah, Scared, but I'm proud of it. Yeah, absolutely. But as a, as a child, mm -hmm. you could not have foreseen what you would become in this moment i'm going to add this on because when i heard it 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 was life changing for me to understand this okay mm -hmm, you could mm -hmm. not have foreseen it because things were not invented back then oh, that you use now so true Very yeah true. yeah and so yeah that yeah. blew my mind when i heard that because sometimes we we keep thinking that this 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 and this need to happen because that's what's going to make me successful but then other things come into play. If new people are introduced in your life that give you new yeah. information or you discover something new or there's a new app or like, so I, I just wanted to give a little light to that idea mm -hmm. because uh -huh. um, I don't know, maybe because somebody needed to hear that, but uh, <laughs> oh, somebody, we can yeah, always somebody. force it. Like we can simply just nurture where we're at and then make the most of where we're at. Um, yeah. and we can plan planning is good, but, d but planning don't stress good, with the plan of what it is you that you're pivot. planning. Yeah. Yeah. Because you may yeah, have to pivot so that joint and it may be for <laughs> yeah. your good. That may be exactly for your good. It's like, okay, wow. I didn't know that this opportunity was available over here. Like, oh, well then let if me I go never started, in that direction. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, yeah, yeah, I absolutely. just yeah had to say that because when we were going down memory lane with different shows that we watched and all of that too, as a child yeah. there was no YouTube. Okay, for me there was yeah. no Instagram, there was no Facebook, there was no um, devices like the, no phones, how did I how did I actually coming. foresee that I would be doing yeah. it in this capacity? So just embracing that I loved talking as a child, you know, and I loved having conversations yeah. and my first interview was uh -huh. like when I was five, I, it was my first interview. <laughs> it was a quick, it was a quick interview for the news station. Okay. okay. But at an early okay, age, I awesome, knew to, to kind of connect with what you're saying at an early uh -huh. age, I knew that I enjoyed the camera. I also enjoyed yeah. the microphone. I also enjoyed painting and drawing. I loved hand painting, you know, just, you know, the oh, painting, yeah, tempera, 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 tempera. <laughs> is that the paint? Tempera paint, I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's safe, it's kids safe, you know? So like- Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic things that stuff. we know, but we can't foresee, even in even into high school, like I didn't have a device. I like these are still oh, things yeah. that did not exist. So, yeah. you know, just, just adding that to give light to embrace where we're at, the things that we do love. Um, and, you know, I'm that's who I'm talking mm -hmm. to. I'm talking to the artists uh, who- um, mm -hmm. who may be stressing, uh, about, about uh, the like, direction yeah. of the future. Yeah. 
I think maybe just thinking too far out, you know, and it's like, if I haven't yeah. found a solution at this point in my life, then what's the point? Uh, mindfulness is very important. Yeah. What I, I want to say mindfulness, mindfulness, being present in where you are is very important. Say it, speak will, on it, Philip. Why is it so important? Talk to us. Man, I will, because I will think ahead to the future. I will <laughs> think ahead to 25 years from now. And it is all smoke and rubble. We're all burnt up. Oh, and, all stuff. and it's, you got to really think about like where you are right now. Because yes. you don't enjoy it. I'm yes. so busy worried about the future. I'm so busy worried about how this industry is going to collapse. I'm so worried oh about the sun exploding. Um, and I'm not even like, I, I, I can't even like, you know, finish my drawing because I spent the whole day worrying about like what was going to happen 10 years from now. Yeah, um, yeah. Mindfulness is 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 invaluable going forward in mm-hmm. like 2020 onward. I'll just say 2020, but yeah. like even before then. Absolutely. Like, but right here, right now, like where we're at, like being right being here, more, right now, even even just being just the willingness to be more mindful. I think, you know, and again, even with something like just being more aware, being more present, mindfulness, sometimes here goes here goes the little game, you know, the the, the game yeah, from the yeah. ego, like, oh, that sounds like it's a whole lot of work or that sounds like it may take forever and ever. Amen. It's like, yeah, what are you trying to be like? What are you, I'm sorry, <laughs> are you trying to be an enlightened master in like two seconds like that? Like, just yeah, exactly. Stop it and then, you now overthought the mindfulness. Like now, now you know what's <laughs> so happening. You fail to be present, exactly. Yeah, and I mean, like, and it's an ongoing thing because I still catastrophize. I still have imposter syndrome almost mm. all the time. Mm. Uh, we definitely we can get into that. Uh, but, but like, you know, where you're at right now. I mean, mm. I don't want to be super rude. I don't know what your policies on cursing or something like that. But there's a good death grip song that at the very <laughs> end of it, it's like, "F where you're from, F where you're going." It's all about where you're at, and that's. <laughs> That's a good mantra, you, you know, yes. to keep in mind. Yes. Yeah, um, absolutely. That's so good. That I mean, it's true. Roses, it's, it's just true. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, and even, you know, if you're having a bad time, now, I mean, I'm sure some people might be in a bad place at the moment, but like, you know, uh, good times, bad times, none of them last. Yeah. So like, yeah. do your best to be grat- do your best to. Be present and be grateful. Try and be as grateful. Grateful gratitude yes. is like such a is it, it helps. It helps a lot. You Let know? me okay, hold on. So we we're getting real okay. physical, right? Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. This no, this is good. This is fine because yeah. you mentioned and I've never heard the verbiage that way. You said uh catastrophize, or how did you say it? But catastrophize. Oh, that, yeah, is that yeah, the yeah. word? So, did I pronounce it right? Uh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Catastrophizing. Okay. Catastrophize. I you know, I have a lot of time while I'm drawing to like watch YouTube videos on like mental health and you know other things here and there, not just now, but other. Things. Oh, okay. But you know, I'll stumble down that rabbit hole. Catastrophizing. Um, basically, just like uh, just doom and gloom. You know, like right. Oh, man, like, so I not, I figured it was uh, yeah. I figured it was that. So so yeah, I wanted yeah, to I wanted to because catastrophe and so you're you know catastrophizing yeah, catastrophe, like something like that right? but yeah. what i have this is something and for some of my listeners they know that back in 2017 i went through um a period of time where i was severely depressed and mm. i you know and this is why i so teach on this. This why yeah. i have a class coming up on how to speak about your art because even though <laughs> i've been generally a very extroverted people person there was a time in my life where I was like nah like for everything like so I just shut down I got off social media I took a year and a half hiatus I didn't want to deal with nobody but that's that's a whole nother story um it was it was a very cloudy doom and gloom very fearful very like yeah touchy were you going through a transition at the time I guess I don't mean yes. to pride, but like no, 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 absolutely. And now I'm not the. It's <laughs> not that I I'm not okay with talking about. It. It's just that it could be a bit extensive. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. So I'm yeah, not yeah, there's, like, there's layers. You know, I'm not going to go all you know down the rabbit hole. But what I'm saying is that yeah. I did go through a time where I completely shut off from the world. Rather, I mm-hmm. stayed at home as much as possible. I only went out mm-hmm. to go to work, and it was just mm-hmm. it was just a rough patch. And during that time, yeah. I was doing that. The doom and gloom. I'm scared about things that. 
I don't know why I'm scared about it. I'm, I'm scared to drive because something yeah, might happen. I'm scared something to, will happen. Something yeah, I'm like scared that, to you know? do a lot of things because something terrible is going to happen. And then I, I went uh-huh. and I was seeing a therapist for a few months, uh, which okay. shout out to that. I, I always that's I nice. That's say good. That. Yeah. It's okay to see a therapist. It's healthy to see Absolutely. a therapist. It's great. 100%. But Normal. at that time, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Not for everyone. Well, no. Like some, some people, people still, yeah. Some people but still need to hear that it's okay. You know, it is normal. It's it totally is. fine. It if is you go okay. to the doctor for a broken bone, you're going to need a doctor yeah. for your brain too. Exactly. You know? Exactly. There's, there's no need to try to like be in your own head about it. But yeah. um, uh-huh. so linking to the the you know strong worries and all of that. What mm-hmm. something that my therapist told me, and I thought this was, I thought it was pretty cool. So then I started trying it. So she said that every time that I, every time I think of, um, a, uh, you know, destructive, I think that's the word we were using like a very destructive. Every time I have one, think Uh of something that, um, isn't even physically possible that could Mm -hmm. counter that. Okay. So for example, like if I'm driving over a bridge, and I'm scared uh-huh. the bridge is going to collapse, right? Uh-huh. Think of think of something that sounds so far fetched that that would uh-huh. counter it. So if the if the bridge collapsed, then I would think of and during that time, um, the Black Panther came out in the movies, right? Uh, okay, yeah, I was so thinking. I like, would, oh. Yeah, so so <laughs> I would envision like the Black Panther and the big like his big um, <laughs> like the Wakandan like the vibranium yeah, that, like the mobile thing, thing that- yeah. <laughs> Like that would, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that would catch me. (laughs) So it would, in the moment of having the thought, I would like giggle because it's like, it was, it was so far fetched. So her point was that the, the, the amount of energy and focus that I'm giving to the worry, it's, Mm -hmm. um, that too is far fetched. Like why, why is it so necessary? And, And it's like an envisioning. So now that I've envisioned the destructive thought, give envision something happening, you know, like, Oh, maybe the, maybe the water will turn pink into pink ice. Like, (laughs) Like, I don't know. You know, so you see what I'm saying? It gives you that that moment, like, Oh, that's kind of crazy. And and simply because you had the thought, you just cool it out. That was I'm so going to be using that in the future. That's, that's I know. Great, you know? <laughs> that's awesome. It, yeah, I love it that. was so good. <laughs> and so I just kept doing that until those thoughts just didn't even come to me anymore. It's like, because again, okay. the, the ridiculous fictional element kicked in and then it it was a reminder of of well isn't it ridiculous for me to even think of the doom and gloom too? So it's like, oh okay, not okay, so bad. All right, then. I like that. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. good. It was so good. Advice. That's really good. I should like that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. This I is mean, recorded, yeah. so I'm gonna be watching this. Yeah, <laughs> but for sure because I had, I had, um, or I still have my friend. She lives in New York. I shared that mm-hmm. with her too, and she thought that was like hilarious because she was going through that where you know she's just having thoughts that were not favorable, and so I yeah, shared that with her. Yeah, and she's yeah. like, she, she, you know, of course she was kind of like, that's kind of crazy. But then after that's, she thought about it, she's, she's like, you know it. what? That's actually pretty good. That kind of helps. That's nice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. I love that. I, yeah, it also gives you a moment to stretch your imagination, you know, because again, you're you're using your imagination for the original thought. So now you're going yeah. to use your imagination to counter that thought. There you go. All right. Creative good. exercises. I love it. It's yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. You know, I don't, we don't went down that path, but y'all. Yeah, we're so going. I, yeah, we're going. I, I, huh? I want to show y'all. <laughs> Um, some of um, some of Philip's work here and podcasters be sure to check out the YouTube video so you can see it and of course Philip's links are in the description below so Philip tell us a little bit about working for Lion Forge and for some of us who who don't know what that is or what kind of uh, at least for me that's that's something very serious like that's a big deal you know um so for those of us who don't have a clue of what lion forge is tell us a little about a little bit about lion forge um and you know uh what you're doing some current projects and while you're doing that i'm going to just show some of your artwork okay oh, okay yeah 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 um, I'm ashamed to say, though, I don't know the history of Lion Forge from like the jump. You know, it's the section. Don't worry about it. We're that. not that interested in the history. <laughs> we just <laughs> we just want to know, like, who are, uh, who's Lion Forge? Like, what is this? Lion Forge, uh, which it's like an up and coming um, animation studio. Um, like I said earlier in the thing, um, they had um, the Hair Love Oscar. Um, Hair animated, Love. Um, yes. Um, they've got um, 
sing out. They've done some stuff for like um, I'm gonna say like Sesame Street. Do um, uh, <laughs> you remember um, the woman who spoke um, during what was it uh, Joe Biden's um, inauguration? Uh, she she gave that poem. She was dressed in yellow. She had the red. Okay, um, but anyways. I did an animation also based on her. They worked with her as well. Um, mm. From what I understand, they've done like oh, oh my goodness some animated features here and there. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the fun one too. That's with IDW. Um, uh, we can get into that too, like a little later on. Um, but yeah, yeah live work animation. Um, right now, I'm currently working on um, a comic or not comic, uh, but an animated series based on a comic called Iyanu and the Age of Wonders. Ah, um, yes. Wait, that I've actually sounds very bit... familiar. Should, is it, would I know that? Would I know what that is? It's got its own, um, it's got its own Instagram page. It's been, uh, the posters have been up or some pro- some promo images have been up um, here oh, okay. and there. Um, it's definitely like, if you search for it, you'll start to find it um, around the, um, around the internet space. And okay. the closer we get to our, you know, the closer we get to like um, uh, sh- the, the series premiere in 2024, um, you know, you're gonna probably see a lot more about it. I'll be posting about it too. Okay, uh, all right. It just sounded yeah. familiar. I'm not sure, you know, like I said, should I even know anything about it? But that name, Inau? Iyanu. So, Iyanu? Uh, it yes, exactly. I Y A N U is her name. And um, I Y A N U. And you, okay. Uh, and it's like it's a chosen one story, you know. Um, little girl, she's um, she has to come to terms with her powers, um, and you know, stop you know her like sort of world from being like you know overtaken by like a great like darkness that's coming. Uh, 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 okay. A sort of monster from the past is coming back to like enact this like mm, sort of like grand master go. plan yeah to sort of take over like um uh, sort of like it's, it's set in west africa like a sort of like fantasy back in the day kind of west africa so like um all black cast um a mm. uh, lot of nigerian culture yoruba culture my goodness um, really the guy who the guy who wrote it um roy um he is um he's our like cultural like you know, he wrote the series and he's like our cultural ex- expert. So it's really fun working on the project because I'm like, I'm learning a lot uh, as I go along. I believe it. Um, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, I, I can't wait to like, Yeah, it's, it's fun to do more. Um, we also have another artist who, um, who works with Roy Godwin. Um, he's also great in terms of like, oh, okay, like this wouldn't look like this. Um, these characters would probably behave this way because uh, um, the fighting style that's in this um, that's in this animated series is capoeira, and I mean, you oh, know, I never before heard this. Before yeah, before this, I didn't know a whole lot about capoeira. Do you ever play Tekken? What is it called? Capoeira. It's like a sort of like rhythmic, sort of like fighting, sort of. Uh, it's like no, a dance. I'm gonna lean on no. Of, uh, sure. Um, you know, if you've um, if you've seen breakdancing, um, some of the some of the sort of like moves in breakdancing uh, come from capoeira. So, Can you, are um, you going to demonstrate that for us, or? <laughs> I am not that rhythmically. Like I, you know, I put all my skill points into drawing. I've got barely any rhythm. If you get a couple of drinks <laughs> in, I might pull something out. But like, <laughs> okay, go ahead. But, um, but there's a there's a there's an emphasis on capoeira because you know, in a lot of like anime and a lot of like cartoons, you'll see a lot of punching and a lot of kicking and a lot of mm-hmm. like. You know, Eastern martial arts. Oh, Capoeira okay. is like a sort of like African martial art. Mm, so you're gonna, mm. you know, animating that's a bit of a challenge because like we don't have a lot of like reference for like the characters have to constantly keep in movement and you Ooh. have to like sort of like um it's a challenge. I, I'm just okay. Challenge. It looked like we you were show- it, it looked like you were showing the technique to us so that that um, <laughs> you know, I two of the people on our project are very good at capoeira. So like okay. and like your I said, your shoulders uh, are stiff, Philip. Your shoulders are stiff. Yeah. Oh you. god, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like a robot on the dance floor. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad robot, not the good. Oh my god, a bad robot. <laughs> Okay, got you. Functioning robot. But that's really but, uh, that's really insightful, though. I mean, I, that's yeah. you know information I didn't know, and you are getting more knowledgeable. That's uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I can't wait for the show to come out so like more people can like you know, like, maybe get into these things. Um, 
and learn more and expand, yes. you know, the cultural, like, sort of, like, you know, identity of, like, West African mm-hmm. culture. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not the spokesperson for it, but I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of the journey and, you know, like, oh, getting huge. to bring that to everybody. Uh, and I'm also working with, um, uh, you know, you just interviewed Obi um, and Corey. I'm sorry. I keep going on Obi game day. <laughs> <Corey>. <laughs> I'm sure Corey's he's great. good with either one. <laughs> but yes, so, right? Obi, I just had that interview <laughs> too. So yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you I'm are still, deep in the projects with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stay busy. You know, we, we yeah. had a hard time getting this started because I'm doing like every project under the sun, over promising myself too many different things. Uh, but yeah, uh, Shallon Moore's um, yes. just wrapping up the art on that. Uh, since I started the TV job, it's been difficult to like sort of like balance. So like I've been a little slow on that. Right. Um, but we're going to roll that. It's an exciting TV project TV. too. I'm looking forward to seeing it done because like yes. we've got a lot of like, because it's a pipeline now. We've got it on a pipeline. We've got mm-hmm. a colorist. We've got an inker. And seeing what other people bring to the table, brings the work, I think makes it like way better. And yes. I could have been by my own. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. And you know, let me add that too. Being just being open to having other people help you. That's huge. Yeah. And I'm and now I've had myself, I've had other people as part of my team, or if I need something um with customer service or I need like whatever that looks like. But yeah. I'm definitely leaning more into the the like having help, having what's that? Yeah. Like? Collaboration. Yes, <laughs> to, where, <laughs> to where I can cool my jets, you know what I'm saying? And because yeah. th- me taking, me taking, um, it's actually just energy management, my own energy and just realizing, yeah. you know yeah. what, when I, for example, if I have an interview, mm-hmm. there's a, there is a certain amount of energy that's put into that interview. There's preparation, just mentally getting prepared. And, you know, if there are any notes for, for example, but I mean, I love interviews. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's still just understanding I don't have to lead all of these things. Like someone else can take the reins. Someone else yeah, can, absolutely. you know, can you can get that support. <laughs> yes. Like give me that and support can, like, all day. <laughs> yeah. And you can really dive into like the part that you're good at too. Like yeah. you flew yeah, your time, focus on creativity. You really, yes. Yeah, zoom yes. into like the thing that you love the most about the project. Yes. Because yeah, every project's got like a bunch of bits that you don't like about. So like right. that's like it's nice to like have someone else to like do their thing. I'm telling you. Project, but you're not, yeah. <laughs> well, absolutely. I want to lean into that a little bit more. And I'm I'm really mm-hmm. excited, of course, you know, about what you shared as far as Shallon Moore's is concerned. And of course, working mm-hmm. with Lionforge and, you know, different projects with that. That's huge. That's very exciting. And if anything, that's a that's a great uh, fuel to be backed with is to yeah. say that you're actually experiencing something now that you used to wish that you could experience. And so now you oh, do yeah. have, you know what I'm saying? So that's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's very it's, charging. That's very it's charging. Really like, absolutely. On those, like on those hard days, you know, when I've got to like, you know, uh, stay up overnight or something like that. And I'm chugging vegetable juice and coffee. Uh, it's always nice. That's to a like, terrible combination, but please go ahead. It's, it's, it tastes <laughs> terrible, but it feels good. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> vegetable juice and coffee. Okay. Vegetable juice and coffee respect. and water. Respect. Yeah, I mean, I, whatever it takes to get to the, to the end of the night. I, or like that, I, look, morning, I respect I it. I'm just saying, I was just sharing my point of view. I'm like, Ooh, I don't know, but go ahead. <laughs> no, it, it, it tastes terrible for anybody else. I have the worst taste buds. Um, okay. But like, it's, it's, um, it's it's oh geez man now i got now I'm on just this. just, but, just I mean, okay oh go ahead i got it um i i just snapped back uh it's it's nice knowing that i'm doing the thing that i wanted to do when i was a kid it's nice to know that like the dream survived up yeah this point. yeah um, that's big. even when it's hard even when it hurts even when like it feels like oh like my i'm, I'm crying blood or something like that um i'm still living the dream but see, yeah, on top of that's, that, that's the gratitude, you know, the still having that glimpse of gratitude is still, that's yeah. so critical. And I want to, and I'm glad you share that um, and connecting to that, mm-hmm. having other people help you. I know that's, there's, yeah. there's this kind of these little thoughts that some artists mm-hmm. have that if you don't do everything from, you know, from square one all the way to the oh, finished yeah. project, then you're not a real not artist. Valid. Excuse me, give me help all yeah. day, every day. If I have an yeah. idea, 
it like that, that not only that, let me say this in, and I'm hoping that my listeners are receiving this gently. When I say this, that's actually, yeah. that actually makes you more powerful when you allow others to step in that, in those ideas that you have, you you're bringing yeah. them in or they're Being stepping in like, whatever that looks like that makes uh-huh. that allows the power to really be fueled and amplified because now other people aren't involved. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Like you're you're yeah. you're laying out a platform for other people to give their ideas, give things, share things that you didn't think of. Uh, and if we can say this, they're better at certain things than you are. Like that's yeah, like yeah. that's like a real <laughs> thing, you know. So yeah, it's like here, real. here, please take take the mic. You if have you're the mic. Like the you know? And I'll even like throw that in. Um, I'll even throw it in um, on the project that we're working on, uh, Ianu. Um, we have mm. different like directors, uh, people who are good at showing emotion, people who are really great at action, people who are fantastic at just like compositions, um, and they all help to like enhance the project. Um, I make yeah. suggestions all the time to the guy who wrote the story, and he's mm. like, "Oh, that would be a cool suggestion to like." Instead of firing a beam, um, you know, it's an animal themed beam or something like that. It's, mm, it's, mm. it's not like, you know, it's not a groundbreaking decision, but like, you know, having someone else there now, it's kind of like, oh, we can enhance this, you know, aspect that nobody was really thinking about. Right. So it's kind of like, you know, bits and pieces, you know, bits and pieces get filled in. Right. Gotcha. Um, when you, when you work together. So that's mm. always kind of nice. That's mm. always fun. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's, I mean, it's, also part of being open-minded too, I think, you know, yeah. um, just being open that ego. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Okay. All right. So let's, let's continue. Ego all the time. Let's continue. Yes. And thank you so much for bringing us up to speed with the things that you're working on now and yes. uh, really embracing That's the right. excitement that comes with that. Yes. There are going to be some times that feel very like, you know, oh, all down. is quiet or I'm all in my zone or whatever. Um, but yeah. then I also feel like when you do have those times, it will allow you to be more amplified when it's time for you to do something else, like fill in the blank, whatever that looks like. So those, yeah. those times that it's just kind of like, cool, it's quiet <laughs> or <laughs> don't, don't get too in your head when it's cool and quiet, but that, ju- yeah. that is, it's almost like, um, it's a time for peace. Like that's, there's a time for the peace to just be like at peace on, on an audio level, you know? So where it's just like, it's peaceful. You're just doing your work. You, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of people and you may have experienced that where they work in places where it's highly distracting, very noisy. There's just a lot going on. They're dealing with customers sun up to sun down. So then, yeah. so then again, like just having that gratitude, be like, you know what? I'm in my, do you have, do you name the room you're in like a studio like do you name your uh, <laughs> like do you, um, do you call your room something like the room that you're like office or like what does that look like for you real quick it just came to me I don't know why but go ahead aside from that it's the computer room I don't have like a name for it like the, the workspace or anything like that it's the computer room it's the only house you know uh, it's the only room in the house with a desktop computer let me say this can i say this to y'all real quick because we we our conversation we're going to play the word game in a moment okay there you go philip like your 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 the at least the room that we're in the room that you call the Uh the room that we're currently in yes it literally looks not the room itself either. I'm just uh-huh. using it as I'm not saying that the room is this way. I'm saying oh, I'm I feel ready like to get offended. You, okay, oh. more, more, uh-huh. more of you. Like when I look at your work, right? Uh-huh. I would not. What are you drinking out of? Okay, <laughs> when I look at your what sorry, is that? I'm, I'm okay, drinking wait. off camera. When I look at your work, I would mm-hmm. not think that you would just call the room that you're in a computer room. Like it, <laughs> it, it feels like there should be not should be. Yeah, yeah, I'll say uh-huh. that. In like my a name head, for it or something like that? It feels like there should be more of like, like, I don't know, because the, the work that you do, the, the work thing. that you do uh-huh. is, it's like, it, it's, it carries, it, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, y'all, listeners. <laughs> Maybe like an energy, with, like a chaos or something. Your too? work feels like it's more of a reflection of how you how you think or how your imagination works. Mm -hmm. It just may not be, I don't know. Okay. It's not reflected in my like outside. It's it's not reflected. It's not reflected. And I'm not saying that's whatever. I'm just saying that it's, that's what I'm experiencing. Like, so like if you, if you name a character, (laughs) 
like let's just say you pick a name for a character that you're doing an OC I don't know sure. you, but but let's just say in yeah. that moment you're doing your own thing right so in uh-huh. my head I'm thinking like oh do you have like a name for the room you're in and I'm thinking you might call that <laughs> that room I don't know <laughs> like a some kind of name or some you know so to me, that's what I'm saying it's like to me I'm thinking of like oh what it should be not saying it should yeah, be yeah. what I'm thinking I'm just telling you in my head I'm like oh is this called something you know but I don't know. <laughs> I think I like the most like normy presenting like artists, yeah. you know, around town. Like, let me say any, like, that. Figures. Hold on. Also, <laughs> if someone saw you right now, they may mm-hmm. not even imagine remotely that you do the work. Have you experienced that where someone is oh, like, yeah. like, you did this? Like, for you time, this? every time I show people my work, they're kind of just like, you, did you draw? You drew the whole thing? <laughs> like, you drew this? Like, it's just like, yeah, that's what I do. I think it's like, I think I always know what I'm doing. I think it's like, I, I'm in my head a lot. So all my fun, wacky chaos fun is, is in it's here. It's in there, right, right. Um, the rest of it is just, you know, white walls. I'm actually at a temporary spot too, so I can't post any posters here. But, you know, even okay. then, like, yeah, the I house that I was in beforehand, I wouldn't have had, like, many posters up or anything like that. I want to, like, collect figures, but then I get to this thing sure. where I'm like, where am I going to put them? And, you know, I really like this, like, stuff, but where am I going to put it? Like, I've got a lot of books, but they're, like, locked up in like book trunks and stuff like that and even like once i'm in like my place my place it's probably still gonna be locked up in a book trunk or something like that right um so yeah i mean you know there's and there's nothing again there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing uh well yeah there's nothing wrong with that it's right for you Uh, that's right for you but but i can certainly gauge that (laughs) i can gauge that like you know okay you know yeah. maybe your whole maybe maybe uh the whole wall behind you would have had like this big drawing <laughs> like, like this yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, I, I might have thrown up a poster or two you know I, <laughs> i'd love to get the decorating design <laughs> but you know what hey sometimes our taste changes let me add that too because you know how i used to Ooh. have all those all the artwork on the walls behind mm-hmm. me i don't know if you remember That's right. right yeah i used to have no, all of that my yeah. my taste has evolved and it just there are certain things that I still have them. Of course, I still keep them, but they're in, they're in a different room in my house. So oh, it just doesn't resonate for me to have it on that wall. Like, so it, yeah. it is what it is. What I'm, I'm relating to you because sometimes people, my, my friends that come over, mm-hmm. they expect they expect to see paintings. They expect, because oh, that's yeah. what I talk about. They want to see. About, yeah. So I, yeah. I can relate. I can relate. And, and for me, it's like, no, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't necessarily, I realize that I don't need to have so much of that. Yeah. I know what I do. This is what I do. I live exactly. it. I live it. Like, I, you I'm know, where my, I'm dwelling, at, my like, dwelling. If, mm-hmm. it, yeah, it is what it, and most of the time I've had to like share space with other people too. So like, I, sure. I've, I've sort of learned over time to sort of just like keep it Adapt all to, to me, that? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I guess. But that might be that too. I might just be adapting to like living with other people. Right. And, and how you don't like, have to have it up. And I don't have like my, if I get my own place or if I get my own house, um, then who yes. knows what's going to happen. I yeah. might be painting the walls, all kinds of different yeah. colors. Yeah. Uh, when you get to stretch out, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. But, but uh, you, mostly renting apartments and all that. Yeah, so. And let that be then, you know, like let that be that time. But I I will say, yeah. I, I still would not have foreseen that you call that the computer room or, or <laughs> not even call it anything. <laughs> No, that's it's just okay. a matter of fact. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's go ahead. Um, and well, before we dive into um, the word game, a lot of mess. I'll say that. What's that? So there's, a, there's a lot of mess. I and mean, if that's a thing, then there's, there's a ton of mess. Okay. You know? It looks great here, but I just want to add that in there, you know? <laughs> okay. So you are coming. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. So we're going to dive into the word game, y'all. And uh, before we dive into it, I wanted to say thank you so much for sharing your journey, your experiences, you know, moments that were challenges, um, the yeah. perfectionist situation, um, you know, of fun, course, yeah. still growing and evolving with time management, um, you know, learning to think forever. of funny things when it comes to the doom and gloom moment, you know, like maybe, mm-hmm, you, can, mm-hmm. you know, I learned uh, something there too myself. Picture oh, yeah. like a Powerpuff girl coming to fix the problem. <laughs> like, like, oh, like if my tire blows out. Fan, you know? well, if my tire <laughs> blows out, then, you know, Bubbles, the Powerpuff girl is going to come and fix it. You know, like it's, it's all there good. There you go, so, you know? It works out. I love it. I'm telling you. Yes, I love that. So 
That's super so smart. Let's dive into the word game. And for some of y'all, you know sure. that I uh, aim to grab certain words from the interview for the word game. Mm-hmm. So a reminder of the word game is that I say a word, Philip will respond with the first thing that comes to mind within two to three seconds. Just if you can't seconds. think of something, right. then just say pass and we will keep it pass. moving. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm All right. So the that. first word, first word is journey. Uh, art. Sorry. Okay. This is going to be a real What did you say? You said art? I said art. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because I mean, There's I guess no that's wrong you know, answer now. Everything is a right answer. It's right. If you think it's right, vibe. I think it's right. It's been my journey. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's yes. Right. Okay. I'm that's good. Creative. I got Okay. It. Yes. Right. Wait, did you just change your answer like three times? What, <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, I throw out a lot of, I throw out a lot of like, explanations. I overstate uh, I'm things. I'm wondering. So, you know. I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? All right. So <laughs> the next word, the next word is stick bug you know bug. Stick okay now like real quick that came like that? that came from when you were talking about your mom and she would draw stick figures so i just picked the word oh ah, okay but, so I, tell us about bug why did bug come to mind uh, i guess like you know you ever think about that movie a bug's life i think about that movie a bug's life a lot one of the characters was like a stick bug and it was like really it was a really creative movie too like i loved all the i did not see the movie movies. i'm familiar with the movie but <laughs> look at your face i'm familiar with the movie but i i enjoy oh wait are you good uh my headphones died can you still hear me oh yeah i can hear you now? yeah i can hear you okay, yeah cool, that's, cool. that's fine um <laughs> i'm familiar with the movie i was just laughing at how uh you said you think about that movie a lot so um, I don't know what a lot means, but it just it still sounded funny. All right. So the next word, the next word is dentist. Dentist. Uh, what's his name? Um, Astro Boy. I mean, is that two words? Is it two words or one word? It's acceptable. It's acceptable. It's it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's acceptable. Because yeah, you had said that about the um, what was his position? The guy who did Astro Boy. I'm gonna look his name. He's, uh, the he's what? a dentist. Um uh but I, it's not otomo but it's um oh no 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 i was asking what he did for astro boy he was a dentist and a fill in the blank director uh, Tezuka. osamu tezuka he was the um he's the creator of astro boy. oh creator um, okay see that's yeah. what's up okay so astro boy next word yeah. is mindful uh mind powers powers okay yeah, mind power. You know that that kind of. Okay, works. I was thinking like telekinesis or something like. I was thinking that too, but now I'm kind of you know, we're really working through it. You know, the mental mind. plane. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Pa- okay. Power. I'm with that. All right. Nice. Um, yeah. Grateful. Dead. You know, like the, the, the uh, grateful dead. You know. Like, I'm familiar. I am familiar. I just think that's just, that's interesting. Oh, see, that's why I like the word game because it's, it's just interesting. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting moment, but I'm still for, familiar with the Grateful Dead. Okay. okay all right. We're getting into yes. Life. All right. So now actually mm-hmm. we're going to play, uh, we're going to, we're going to do a back and forth. This is the first time I'm going to try this. I may okay. do this on, on another interview. My next interview, I may try this, but it's a word ping pong real quick okay and it'll end whenever it ends but i'm going to start with a word you're going to say a word then i'm going to respond with the first word that comes to mind for me and then you're going to respond with a word and then it's going to be back and forth for a little bit all right so i'll start off with the word okay okay gem hologram show turtle Cartoon. Mutant. Teenage. <laughs> Shark. Oh, terrible. Uh, mummy. Egypt. <laughs> Is that it? Is we, we do it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it's over now because you were because you were taking too long. I just made up a rule. I just made up a rule because I wasn't sure when it was gonna end. So yeah, sure. I guess I, I guess that could be the rule is like whomever takes the longest to like if if it's more than four seconds, then the game is over. I guess. Okay, I all right then. I kind of not gonna lie, just kind of went through like '90s cartoons. I'm sure as you noticed. So oh, like, you're starting to do a little trend. 
All right, I was kind of doing a trend. Um, uh, Street Sharks, Mummies Alive. Um, no, I didn't. No, no, um, I didn't pick up on that. Nope, nope. I just I got caught up on the teenage, you know, mutant ninja like the turtle that. But I mean, uh, but then after that, I was like, oh, okay, a mummy, okay. <laughs> uh, it's all part of that, like sort of this genre that came out in the '90s of like mutant animals with like abs who would like fight against whatever, you know. I didn't know that was a thing that was happening. I only know of the, the you know, the Ninja Turtles. Like that, those are the only ones, at least I can't think of anything else. Um, I, I don't even think I just knew of anything else. If I knew of others, then I probably, I'm sure I would know, but I can't think of anything. Sure. I think that's where my mind is most of the time. Just like old uh, cartoons and stuff like that. Um, there was, um, what was it? Extreme Dinosaurs. Uh, there was Gargoyle. People like gargoyles. Did you ever watch gargoyles? Oh yeah, I I wouldn't watch it, but I was familiar with that. Yeah, some cartoons were too hard. Like I'm I'm you know I'm a girl. That, I mean, if you want to just I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. And so for me, some of those cartoons were like a little too some some. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like I watched uh, you know the Ninja Turtles. I watched mm-hmm. Batman. I love to watch Batman. So sure. so but. But the, I think the physique of some of the, like the gargoyles, like that seemed like a little too, too out there, too no, I, rough for me, like too, like, eh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how to describe it. And that's good to know. Cause I always think that like kids ate that stuff up. I've never met somebody who like, or I've never considered somebody who doesn't like that sort of thing. And like, they tell me it's, a lot when I'm doing storyboards, I guess. Or they right. tell me a lot when I'm doing storyboards. I try to make things like kind of scary sometimes. And they're just kind of like, Philip, it's a show for children. Just yeah, you- like, yeah. <laughs> the, you know, like the, the drool coming down their teeth kind of like, you know, like whatever, like that's too. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just being, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, so there, all I can say is that there were certain things that just did not resonate with me. So yeah. All, that's all I can say. The gargoyles that didn't resonate with me, but I mean, I at the same time I was playing Contra, um, you know, on the Nintendo, you know. So it's like I never so it's Contra kind of hard for me to explain. But all I can say is like that didn't click, but there was some, there was something else that clicked, you know. But I, you know, enjoy the Powerpuff Girls a little later on, um, and you know, maybe Johnny Bravo or whatever, you know. So it just kind of varied, I guess, you know. I mean. Yeah. Well, I, you know, my I've been on like cartoons since I was a kindergartner, so I've I've been like knee deep in it. Like I I I remember most of them. You know, yes, like, I can't remember, but like I'm real tuned in. <laughs> Literally tuned yeah, in. Okay, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> All right, Philip. Philip, it has been an absolute pleasure. So yeah. tell us, you know, is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to? Is there any special plug that you want to give before we wrap it up? Uh, shout outs to Obi. Uh, he's doing his Kickstarter now. So like, let's get that, you know, going, let's get oh, some money. Snap. Absolutely. I mean, the same people from like last time, you know, C night art, you know, Mike, Tony art, super mega dopey dope. Well, you know, again, not everybody knows about the last interview. Now this is, this is the first yeah, time for some yeah. of us. So we, so give us those fresh shout outs. We got C night art. Who else we got? Uh, we got Mike, Tony design. Uh, we've got super mega dopey dope. Um, great yes. people, Book Jackson art, um, and I'm probably butchering some of these names, but um, <laughs> oh, man, there's like a million people. Like, I got to, I, I, I know keep... Jack the Jackrabbit uh, is my boy. Um, uh, uh, Nicole Hamilton, she does pretty cool stuff. Um, uh, man, okay. I really be Nicole Ham. She does like cool, like fun, like kind of like uh, '90s style, like gross, like um, uh, like gross. Okay. But- so but I don't know it's just my like my vibe so like I like her oh, okay um aqua bunny um uh if you Wait, are these seen... all Instagram they're all Instagram folks on Instagram absolutely uh, she's does she's, she's one of my favorite out there right now her stuff real right quick are, are any of them um I know some of them are not but then I'm also mm-hmm. curious are some of them in the Richmond area um I do know that aqua bunny is maybe she might not be but I met her at a convention in Richmond oh um, yeah, so she, she's really good too. Well, I'm gonna um, have to check check her out. I'm I want to say that too. I am being more intentional to connect with local with local artists. Very so much more intentional for sure. Yeah, um, cool. I'm lucky when like you meet somebody who's like in the area too, who's just like that's always kind of nice. It's because yes, like, yeah, yeah. 
or, or New yeah, York. we're going to get you out. Oh, ab- okay. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. I will mm-hmm. message you after this. And again, um, sure. but I, I'll message you, um, information on this, Philip. Um, Mm -hmm. about something that is happening in Richmond. So we'll coordinate that. So yes, thanks. We're going to stay on listeners. Philip and I are going to stay on, but we're going to say bye to you first. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you click all the links in the description. Uh, Learn more about Philip Johnson, his journey, AKA end of days on Mars um, and support him. Just support, like support is huge. um, And there's more than enough support for all of us. So, so the more that you're showing support uh, for someone else's growth, the more that you can open yourself up to receive that support. You know what I'm saying? Because there is more than enough. It doesn't cost anything it's just the energy of support so we appreciate y'all um to the podcasters again go to youtube check it out watch the video and get those visuals of philip's work so we appreciate y'all so bye we're gonna say peace peace y'all bye yeah (laughs) creatives it has been both a pleasure and an honor to have you sit in on our conversation today so will you be the next artist interviewed (laughs) <laughs> visit respecttheartist.com forward slash artist dash interviews to learn more and hopefully i'll see you soon rta stands for respect the artists love y'all